Hello, my name is Hans Diepstraate and I'm uh, going to show you a number of records. And why? Well, I've been watching a lot of these guys uh, on the internet doing the same thing and I kind of enjoy that. So I thought why not uh, join in that fun. Um, I do a radio show together with a friend of mine, Harry van Vliet, and we do this already for about 25 years now. Um, and as you can see behind me, I'm a collector and that uh, means that I buy lots of records all the time. Um, I'm going to show you some of them. In the background is uh, Edu Lobo, a Brazilian record. I'm quite into Brazilian music the last couple of years. Um, but that's not a record I'm going to talk about today. Um, I'm going to start, hopefully that sound is not too loud. I'm going to start by introducing this radio show that we do, Finger Popping Soul. I you can read that. It's on every week, every Thursday night, and we put it on Mixcloud as well every week. Uh, two hour show full of radio uh, friendly soul music. Um, so try and uh, look it up. Uh, we're on Mixcloud, so I'll put the link in the, in the uh, notes below this video. Okay, on to the business. Um, first record that I would like to show you is a record that I got recently. It's by a guy called O.T. Sykes. And it's called First Love. It's a Memphis record. And it's uh, mainly known for a couple of real good two-step tracks, uh, of which Come Be My Lady is really the best one. And it's a very rare record. It's by a guy uh, that uh, was uh, a dentist, and still is actually, in Memphis. If you look it up on the internet, you can find him still practicing dentistry. Um, you see here that he was also uh, sort of a ladies' man. And this record is uh, is very good. I've, I've been looking for it for a long time, and uh, because it's it's quite difficult to find, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, well, don't know what to say more about it, except for that if you find this one, you have to get it. It's really um, one that you can't miss. The next one, the next one is maybe some one one that I will play uh, on the on the on the pickup. It's by a, a duo called Douglas and Lonero. And this is a, sort of a vanity record, uh, recorded uh, by these guys themselves in a club somewhere. And uh, especially on side two, there are some nice songs on there that are, uh, for instance, uh, yeah, two uh, uh, Marvin Gaye covers, uh, What's Going On and uh, Mercy Mercy. Um, let me just try and put that record on. Because it's quite interesting, it's a very tough sound. Let me see how that works. It's the third track in. This is Here, this has a quite a tough sound. And it's just three of them, it's just the three of them making that noise. And uh, they came to my attention because of a 45 that they did for, at, for one of the major labels. And um, that was called, I think, This Time or something. It was a really good crossover type sound. And then I got this album, and this this is a different sound. It's more of a party sound, if you will. Live at Charlie Brown's. It's actually signed, this copy, on the front and on the back. Didn't even notice that before.
Okay, well you get the drift. Oops, uh, I'm not too concerned about things with records. Uh, to play, not to put in a cupboard somewhere. Okay, next one is um, a record by a guy called Alfredito. Now this is a, a Boogaloo record, Latin Soul. And this is uh, quite obscure, but it's on a very well-known label. It's the Kotik label. The Kotik label is a, really a must-have label if you're into that stuff. There are lots of great records coming out on that label. And this is... Uh, really also a very nice record. It's not easy to find. I found it in Paris recently when I was over there. Uh, let me tell you. Let me show you this. This is a nice You Tell Me That You Love Me. It's also on the 45. In the meantime I will clean up these records. style of music, very relaxed, very easy, very, yeah, you can picture yourself sitting in the sun listening to this. And actually there's a really good film, movie, uh, that has been released uh, a couple of months ago, doing the rounds now in the festival circuit, uh, I Like It Like That, which is about the Boogaloo Latin soul scene in New York, and that's really... Uh, very very nice. I hope to see that movie one one day because it's so far it's this revision has been very limited But the, all the heroes from the Latin soul scene are on that uh, film Okay, the next one is one that I found right here in Amsterdam recently. It's by a group called the Beachers Now apparently this group was originally uh, Called the Beach Boys, but uh, of course there already was a group in America called the Beach Boys So they had to change their name to the Beachers. They are from Panama and they've made a big career there because uh, they're actually still gigging as far as I understand. But this is a record from, I think, 1970 or something, or maybe a little earlier. And it's um, very distinguished because it has some really nice uh, soul covers on it. And um, especially uh, the, the 360 miles away and the um, uh, give me little sign. That's really nice. So let us just... Oh, I put the wrong side on. Let me see. Yeah, this is the right side. On this record, the second side is totally off center, but the first side is, is okay. Nice organ sound here. And I've never seen this before. It has that typical island sound that's, uh, that I really like. It's, it's really something distinguishing. It's not like your run of the mill stuff. But there's also other very good stuff on here. For instance, uh, the version of Gimme Little Sign. Yeah. And then at some point they switch from Spanish to English. Again, this organ. Really nice sound. It's on the Tamayo label. And there are more albums by them on that same label. And also 45, so... Now personally I don't really collect 45s. Sometimes I buy them, I have like lots of them. But they don't really flog my boat the way that albums do.
That's the one from Panama. And there's a website on the beaches, uh, uh, on the internet, so you can look it up and then the whole story of that group is shown. And it's really interesting. Now the next one is, some, is a record that I, I found quite some time ago and then I found a couple of times over. I'd never heard of this guy, but uh, this is not an expensive record, it's like f five euros or something. Uh, or ten dollars, or uh, but it's really a very, very good soul record. It's by a guy called Geo Brooks, and it's called Play It Again, Sam. Now, this cover you must recognize it if you've uh, been through a lot of bins uh, over the years. Um, so it's not that hard to find. It's on uh, Amerama Records, but I really fell in love with this record when I heard uh, the, the songs on there, because the guy has a really good voice. It's well produced. It has some great covers on there. Um, and, and also some self-written tracks and my favorite of those self-written tracks is this one it's called um, uh, um, Can't We Make It Easier which is like a ballad and it's very very atmospheric it's about uh, a love gone wrong of course as always it's an acquired taste maybe, I don't know I can't say many people that I've made, that I played it record to, that nobody really liked it, so but maybe I'm just different. coming in there it's really very very nice and atmospheric it's a New York recording New York label this is a photograph from a New York restaurant so it's um, quite a good guess that this guy was from New York City um, but as I said there's precious little about him on the internet you can't really find any biography or at least I didn't find it um, but it's a uh, it's a really good record and if you come across it it won't cost you much you can just uh, get it for a few dollars and it's really nice Next one is quite rare and is, ha is, is, is also something that's very interesting because this has a live version on it of the classic Summertime by Billy Stewart and of course you know Summertime by Billy Stewart, the big hit from him, from that great artist. But this is a record that um, they recorded in, I think in 1965 or something and in that, um, in that performance Billy Stewart started doing things that were so outrageously different and ahead of its time that I still think that it's a magnificent and totally out of this world record. Um, the whole record is nice, but this version takes the biscuit. I'll just not play it from the start because it starts really... Oh, you recognize it, of course, eh? this is summertime. And now he starts doing things with echo that are just... goes on like this for minutes. I mean the whole record is nice, it has the intruders on it, it has uh, the Delphonics on it, the ambassadors, uh, the stair steps, but uh, I always come back to this one track and I know from the internet uh, that people have uh, traded lots of difficult 45s for this album just for this song only. Jimmy Bishop uh, on stage uh, live at the uh, Nixon Theatre in Philadelphia I think that is. Okay, 
Next one, and I have to thank uh, Mr. Greg Belson for this uh, for this find because uh, he played that uh, song that I'm going to play uh, on a, off a 45 uh, on Turret Records uh, when he was a guesting on our show, which is still on Mixcloud by the way. You can find the the, the, the Greg Belson episode there, um, and that's by um, a group called Will and the Sweet Sounding Tornado. So I was very lucky and, and pleased to find the, this LP where that record is on because the 45 was called Stand By Me and the same track is called Stand By Me Jesus on this LP and it's this this track it's they have multiple albums so I have another one by them that's also fantastic and they're really sweet sounding these tornadoes they're really like amazing it's Wilbert Milner the guy that you're doing. really a deep soul record and this is the sound that we also like in our radio show eh? the, the, the sound that, that is very pure and, and not not very thumpy or something but it has to have some sort of spiritual or moody vibe going through it that's what we really like Okay, to uh, speed up the proceedings, because I don't want to make this overly long as, uh, as this first episode goes on. Um, I'm sort of losing the nerves now, so that's good. Um, next one is two LPs that I found um, also in Paris at a, at a shop called Superfly Records. And of course I knew a lot of the records that came out on P-Vine uh, uh, back in the 80s and 90s, but this is actually a record on ABC Japan. And that's really something that I hadn't seen before. It's the LP is called Soul Pack from Houston, Texas, Volume 3. So there must be a Volume 1 and 2 as well. And you see that this is a the typical setup of obscure songs um, by obscure artists on the ABC label. Or really Duke Peacock uh, masters. Um, and also some different things from the 70s. Not just the, the gospel stuff, but, but this is really the soul stuff. Uh, and we have well-known names like Gene Stanback uh, and Bobby Williams, um, but also really unknown artists. Like I didn't know this group, this vocal group over here, and I really like that song. It's called uh, "Love and Peace of Mind." I found it also on YouTube, so it's there already. <laughs> yeah, we played this on the radio show as well, eh? I'm going to go on now with the other one that I found also in Paris, or I found multiple records there, but um, uh, this is uh, another of these Japanese records. I think this is a P-Vine one. Yeah, this is a P-Vine record. The Sound of Earthy Soul, and it's a very strange compilation with lots of different things on it, Kip Anderson, Johnny Copeland, um, but also uh, quite yeah, unknown artists and, and also a vocal group like the Victones with their wonderful record um, uh, Two Sides to Love which is also on a, on a 45. So I'm not going to play anything off this one but it's really amazing to find these uh, compilation LPs there in the same shop. The same shop I found also this one, the reissue. Now we're going into two reissues. This is the first one. It's really well done. The notations, of course, the Chicago Poker Group, and this is on the Numero the Numero Group. They make really wonderful uh, releases all the time. And again, for this release, they were yeah, nice liner notes uh, on a separate uh, sheet of paper. And there are the singles, the 45s from 67 to 73, and that's really a very good period of this group, which had Clifford Curry, of course, uh, in, in the group. Um, and it's a, yeah, it's a wonderful, it's a, it's a really good record and it's recommended. It. Um, and since it's a reissue, it won't be very expensive. The same goes for this one. It's a New Orleans record um, by Norma Jean and Ray J. Uh, it's called Raising Hell. This is also something of a Holy Grail record um, because it's quite funky. There are some nice funky tunes on there. Um, but um, it's now reissued on, on really thick cardboard and really good vinyl. So it's... Um, 
And this is done actually by Superfly Records, uh, the, the, the company that's associated with the record shop in Paris, one of the best shops in the world. Um, so check it out. And then the last one, last one that I want to discuss is also a recent find I'm really into, and we both also, Harry, my colleague from Finger Popping Soul, we're very much into work steady and early reggae. And this, of course, is one of the prime, uh, the prime rock steady groups. They're called the Cables, and I'm just in love with this cover as well. Look at the cover; it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's their album "What Kind of World." I already had it on a CD, but I found it now on the vinyl. Um, and if you just listen to this sound, it's, it's just so beautiful. This is really some of the ultimate music in the world. Huh? The sense of aesthetics that's coming from this sleeve alone, eh? it's just perfect, it's perfection. Well, that's about it for this first uh, episode of, uh, don't know what we're going to call it, but it's uh, Finger Popping Soul. Um, recent finds, things that we find interesting. They're going to post it up on YouTube. Uh, I think I spent more than 20 minutes already, so that's uh, sort of like the upper limit of what I can do. Um, so, peace. Uh, find the links in the notes, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.